So I'm taking a break from working on cover letters and resumes, um, and I thought I'd film an empties video as a little reward for um, getting a little further on my work. Um, yeah, I'm getting a little bit... I shouldn't say discouraged, but it's, it's hard. I'm having a hard time writing um, my resume because it's just one of those things like how many different ways can I write successfully did this or executed this or, you know, whatever. So I'm just trying to, you know, work out all the vocabulary to, um, you know, sound really impressive. I mean, the things I did, I guess, are pretty impressive, but I don't think of them that way, which is sort of the, the problem, I guess. I'm just like, well, that was my job and I did it well. Um, and that's how I would put it, but that doesn't really grab other people's attention. So anyways, empties. I thought, let's take a break and do some empties. Um, I have quite a few, so hopefully this won't take too long. So first of all, I finished another one of these um, Bath and Body Works soaps. This is the Tuscan Vineyard uh, soap. It's just their gentle foaming hand soap. Again, I really just bought it for the bottle, so now I'm gonna just refill it myself. Um, I actually found, I don't think, even if, I did like the scent, but I really discovered that I really don't like the formula of their soaps. Um, so in addition to soap, you know, they have sodium lauryl sulfate, which is a foaming agent, and they have a couple other um, ingredients in there, which I guess is supposed to be sort of moisturizing for your hands. But I also find that um, whatever it is they put in there, it keeps the foam, um, it holds the bubbles for a long time and it actually kind of clogs up my sink a bit because it, I have to keep running water and then whatever this product is, it continues to foam as it goes down my drain and, um, and then it sticks to my pipes and stuff. So I've discovered that I really don't like that and I've had to like really flush my sinks with um, like baking soda and, and hot vinegar and then hot water just to really like clear it out. Um, so that was kind of surprising. I didn't really think it was going to have this kind of a problem, but yeah, so this, I guess the super foaming action in this, it just holds the foam a little too long and it just clogs my sink up. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to repurchase this, but I wasn't anyways, cause I'm, I'm just going to make my own foaming hand soap. Um, so I finished this toner from the body shop. This is the seaweed clarifying toner for combination to oil, uh, combination oily skin. Um, I, I did like this. Um, I liked it quite a bit, but the, after I sort of read the um, ingredients, there's quite a few parabens in here, which I was kind of sorry to see because I did like it. Um, it leaves a little bit of, like, uh, during the summer anyways, I really liked it because it had left that kind of, like, tingly feeling for a short period of time after you use it. But it didn't dry out my skin, um, and, uh, you know, it helped keep the oil at bay. But um, I don't think I'm going to get this again because of the parabens in it, um, you know, which is, is kind of unfortunate. I'm finding that the entire seaweed line, maybe because it needs a preservative for the seaweed extract that's in it, but they all seem to have some kind of a, a paraben in it. This one has ethyl paraben, butyl paraben, um, and let me see, I thought there was one more. Maybe that's it. I mean, oh, and methyl paraben. I knew, I was like, it usually has methyl paraben. So it's methyl paraben, butyl paraben, and ethyl paraben. Um, so unfortunately, you know, I think maybe I might have to look for something else. I've actually, now that this finished, I did have a bottle of um, witch hazel that I had purchased that I'm now using as my toner, which I do quite like. And that is just pure witch hazel um, with a little bit of aloe and um, peach. It's peach scented, but again, it's a natural one. And I'm, I'm quite liking that as well. So unfortunately, I probably won't be buying this again, even though I did like it. Um, I finished... A bottle of um, pink grapefruit shower gel. Um, I have already repurchased a super large size of this with a pump and I'm using it right now. Um, so yeah, this is one I, I really like. It's uh, soap free, moisturizing with grapefruit seed oil and um, yeah, it doesn't have too many of those bad, you know, bad ingredients. Um, although it does have sodium lauryl sulfate. So Oh well, but I just I just really love the smell of it, so it's hard for me to give that one up. To go with it, I finished a um, pink grapefruit body butter. I love 
Uh, I love the body butters, so I have tons sort of backed up. Not necessarily in the scent, but I do have a lot of body butters that now I'm just slowly making my way through. Uh, what else? Okay, I finished this, which is a Clinique Seven Day Scrub Cream Rinse Off Formula. I don't know why it's called Seven Day Scrub Cream. The person at the store didn't really explain it to me. Um, I wasn't sure if they meant that I should use this every seven days or if I, it was so gentle that I could use it seven days a week. Um, either way, I kind of used it uh, on and off um, for this this one. is It's quite old. Um, probably I've had this tube for at least three years now, so I've been using it sort of on and off. Um, and I've finally used it up. I do like it. It's got the kind of um, exfoliator to it that it doesn't dissolve um, the the gritty part anyways doesn't dissolve with water so that could be good or bad um, depending on what you like. It says here that you can rinse or tissue off. I've never actually just tissued it off. I um, always would wet my face and then use it and then rinse it off. Um, I don't know if um, so I can't comment on whether it works better if you tissue it off or not. I always only ever rinsed it off. Pretty good. Um, but I now have quite a few different exfoliators to go through, so I, it might be a long time before I get this one again. Um, I used up a couple of these sheet masks. So I got these in my Ipsy Glam bag. Um, I, I've used the Facial Hydrating Paper Mask with Blue Agave, and I used up this one, the um, Facial Purifying Paper Mask with Starfruit. Um, I like them all. I like this one maybe a little more. Um, it was quite hydrating, smelled nice. Um, although it did sort of both of these left my skin afterwards looking a little bit red uh, in in areas. Um, not too sure why. So I wouldn't recommend using these right before going out. Like if you use it the at night and then go to bed or something, then it's totally fine because the next day your skin's like totally normal. This one was kind of funny. Um, this one is meant for, uh, helps purify and help control oil. Um, it did do that, um, but my skin was kind of irritated while I was using it. And afterwards, like, you know, I used to rub the serum in and not wash it off. Well, I rubbed it in and wow, my skin kind of hurt. My face kind of hurt. Uh, and again, I was red, even like more red than when I used this one. Um, so yeah, that kind of had me worried for a bit, but then the next day my skin actually looked quite fantastic the next day. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to use that again because I was, it, it just felt, didn't feel good while I was using it. The other thing that I don't like about these masks is that the eye holes are kind of small. They don't actually fit over my eyes very well. They don't actually, um, this way for my eyes, right? My eyes are wider than the hole um, that they've cut out. So like part of it always sits kind of like right by my eye, which is really annoying. Um, I mean, and I guess I could cut the holes out, but if you've ever used these sheet masks, you know, it's really hard to kind of like, it's annoying. You really just want ones that have that fit your face a little better. So I don't really love them for that. So I've got one more of these left that I'm going to use up and I probably won't be buying these again, just because um, even if the formula of the serum was great, the shape of the mask is actually um, quite terrible for for my face. So, you know, that's just for me. It might work great for other people, but that's the problem I have with them. I used up this, a bottle of this Optrex eye wash. It's a sterile eye wash. I use this during, um, like, peak allergy season because I find my eyes get super itchy and this sort of helps to wash all the pollen and gunk out of my eyes um, now that it's winter time and things are sort of plant material isn't really spewing everywhere I probably won't need to get this again but you know I did I did like it you know once a week I'd kind of wash my eyes out and they'd feel good um, but you know like I don't want to do it daily um, and uh, you know but I like my allergies were, are quite um, I wouldn't say severe, but they're quite strong. So, you know, it wasn't quite enough to just do it like once a week. And finally, I can't really show this product to you, but I can show you the empty tin. I used up my Lush Aqua Mirabilis um, body butter and, uh, you know, I liked it. Um, this, but 
I feel like the body butters go really, really quickly. I think I probably, it probably only took me like five showers before I used this thing up. I was trying to save it. Like I didn't use, even use it like once a week. I would use it like once every couple weeks. Um, the formula is nice. I like the exfoliating um, chunks in it. I like the way it smells. It's got like a lovely like Shea cocoa butter smell to it. Um, and it's got almond oil in it um, and like almond particles that provides the, the grittiness. Um, so yeah, I, I did I did really like it, but it's expensive for um, the amount of product that you get and for how quickly you go through it. Um, so yeah, I've been using this along with sort of the body, but, uh, sorry, the body shops cream scrubs and I've been sort of alternating those and I'm finding that bang for the buck, um, the cream scrubs are maybe better and they do still, they, um, exfoliate and moisturize about the same as, as this, um, you know, but I, but I did like it. So, you know, if I had, um, you know, infinite cash, I would, I would get this. Um, maybe one of these days I'll, I will get it again because I did like it. It's just expensive for the amount of times you get to use it. Um, so that's it. That's my latest batch of empties. Uh, I'm going to be happy to toss it all bottles now. <laughs> um, yeah, so hope all of you guys are doing well and um, love to see what sort of products you guys have been using up lately. And uh, yeah, so comment down below. Um, if you've got a video, link it to me in the um Actually, I guess the comments don't let you put links in anymore. I don't know. Let me know that you've got it on your channel and I will look for it. Hope you guys are all doing well. Now it's back to resume writing and cover letter writing for me. <laughs> Yay. Um, yeah. Can tell I'm not really loving that, but, um, you know, it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. That's what I keep telling myself. Okay. Take care, you guys, and uh, talk to you soon. Bye.